Hello there everyone, today I am going to share with you all, the list of top 10 anime that you must watch, and warning the video includes biases, so keep that in mind. Let's get started. Number 10 Tokyo Ghoul A sinister threat is invading Tokyo, flesh-eating ghouls who appear identical to humans and blend into their population, reserved college student Ken Kaneki buries his nose in books, and avoids the news of the growing crisis, however, the appearance of an attractive woman named Rizei Kamashiro shatters his solitude, when she forwardly asks him on a date, while walking Rizei home, Kaneki discovers she isn't as kind as she first appeared, and she has led him on with sinister intent. After a tragic struggle, he later awakens in a hospital to learn his life was saved by transplanting the now deceased Rise's organs into his own body. Kaneki's body begins to change in horrifying ways, and he transforms into a human ghoul hybrid. As he embarks on his new dreadful journey, Kaneki clings to his humanity in the evolving bloody conflict between society's new monsters and the government agents who hunt them. Number 9 Jobless Reincarnation Despite being bullied scorned and oppressed all his life, a 34-year-old still found the resolve to attempt something heroic, only for it to end in a tragic accident, but in a twist of fate, he awakens in another world as Rudeus, starting life again as a baby born to two loving parents, preserving his memories and knowledge from his previous life, Rudeus quickly adapts to his new environment, with the mind of a grown adult, he starts to display magical talent that exceeds all expectations, honing his skill with the help of a mage named Roxy, Rudeus learns swordplay from his father Paul, and meets Sylvia, a girl his age who quickly becomes his closest friend. As Rudeus's second chance at life begins, he tries to make the most of his new opportunity while conquering his traumatic past, and perhaps, one day he may find the one thing he could not find in his old world, love, but that's not all, he got even bigger things to deal with, will he actually be able to get what he desires or not? Number 8 Noragami In times of need, if you look in the right place, you just may see a strange telephone number scrawled in red, if you call this number, you will hear a young man introduce himself as the Yato God. Yato is a minor deity and a self-proclaimed delivery god, who dreams of having millions of worshippers, without even a single shrine dedicated to his name. However, his goals are far from being realized. He spends his days doing odd jobs for 5 yen apiece, until his weapon partner becomes fed up with his useless master, and deserts him. Just as things seem to be looking grim, his fortune changes when a middle school girl, Hiyori Iki, supposedly saves Yato from a car accident taking the hit, remarkably she survives, but the event has caused her soul to become loose, and hence able to leave her body, Hiyori demands that Yato return her to normal, but upon learning that he needs a new partner to do so, she reluctantly agrees to help him find one, and with Hiyori's help, Yato's luck may finally be turning around. Personally speaking it is one of the most underrated anime I have ever came across. Number 7 Haikyuu, Hanada, a short middle school student, gained a sudden love of volleyball after watching a national championship match on TV. Determined to become like the championship star player a short boy nicknamed the small giant, Hanada Shoyo joined his school's volleyball club, but unfortunately, he was the only member, and the club didn't have so much as a place to practice, but he didn't let that deter him, and upon finally acquiring five other players in his final year, he was able to compete in an actual competition, only for his team to be unlucky enough to face the championship favorite, and its star player Kagiyama, called the king of the court. In the first round though Hanada's team suffers a crushing defeat, he vows to become better and eventually surpass Kagiyama. Now Hanada is starting his first year in high school. The very one he had first watched in the national championships, he's going to join the volleyball team, he practice constantly, and wipes the floor with Kagiyama the next time they meet on the court, or at least that's what Hanada had planned, until he discovers that he and Kagiyama are now in the same school. The volleyball team definitely needs their skills, but only if they can stop bickering and learn to work together as teammates, you will be surprised to see how far they goes together as a duo, and later even individually. Number 6 Attack on Titan After his hometown is destroyed, young Eren Jaeger vows to cleanse the earth of the giant humanoid titans that have brought humanity to the brink of extinction. Humans are nearly exterminated by giant creatures called titans. Titans are typically several stories tall, seem to have no intelligence, devour human beings, and worst of all seem to do it for the pleasure rather than as a food source. A small percentage of humanity survived by walling themselves in a land protected by extremely high walls, even taller than the biggest of titans. Flash forward to the present, and mankind has not seen a titan in over 100 years. One day, 10-year-old Eren and his childhood friend Mikasa witness something horrific as the city walls are destroyed by a colossal titan that appears out of thin air. As the smaller titans flood the city, the two kids watch in horror as Eren's mother is eaten alive. Eren vows that he will murder every single titan and take revenge for all of mankind. Number 5 Black Clover Asta and Yuno were abandoned together at the same church and have been inseparable since. As children, they promised that they would compete against each other to see who would become the next wizard king. However, as they grew up the differences in their abilities became considerably noticeable. Yuno was a genius in his magic control and power, while Asta possessed no magic at all, so he trained his physical body as much as possible in an attempt to make up for his lack of magic. Having received their grimoires at age 15, Yuno unexpectedly got one with a four-leaf clover symbol on, while Asta unfortunately did not even get a grimoire at all. However, when Yuno was threatened, 
The truth about Asta's power was revealed, he received a five-leaf clover grimoire, a black clover, now the two friends are heading out in the world. Number 4 Monster Dr. Kenzo Tenma, a Japanese neurosurgeon, is one of the best doctors in Germany, he's respected by his peers, he's engaged and has a promising future, Tenma disagrees with hospital politics and sticks to his views, that all human lives are equal and that no life is more important than other, one day he decides to work according to his own ideals and not follow hospital politics, he operates a young boy in critical condition, who arrived first over the life of a politician, after this, Dr. Tenma's peers no longer have the same respect for him, but some time later, some of Tenma's peers are found murdered, his fiance wants to get back together, and he's appointed as head of the surgical department. Nine years later, the BKA is investigating a series of murders, and one agent from the BKA suspects that Tenma is involved with the murders. Tenma starts to investigate after one of his patients is murdered and discovers that the murderer is someone from his past, and you would be surprised to know it's none other than the boy he once saved. Johan has now became a completely complex personality, who likes to exploit the weaknesses of humans, to either make them completely depressed or forcing them to suicide. Dr. Tema now find ways to stop Johan from progressing any further, but will he be successful or not? You can only find the conclusion and all the answers to your questions, after finishing the anime. Number 3 Vinland Saga Young Thorfinn grew up listening to the stories of old sailors that had traveled the ocean and reached the place of legend. Vinland, it's said to be warm and fertile, a place where there would be no need for fighting, not at all like the frozen village in Iceland where he was born and certainly not like his current life as a mercenary. War is his home now, though his father once told him, you have no enemies, nobody does, there is nobody who it's okay to hurt. As he grew, Thorfinn knew that nothing was further from the truth. The war between England and the Danes grows worse with each passing year. Death has become commonplace, and the Viking mercenaries are loving every moment. Allying with either side will cause a massive swing in the balance of power, and the Vikings are happy to make names for themselves and take any spoils they earn along the way. Among the chaos, Thorfinn must take his revenge and kill Askeladd, the man who murdered his father, the only paradise for the Vikings, it seems is the era of war and death that rages. Number 2 Classroom of the Elite When Kiyotaka enters government-sponsored elite high school, he finds out just how merit-based this education system is. Kudo Ikusei Senior High School is a leading prestigious school with state-of-the-art facilities where nearly 100% of students go on to university or find employment. The students there have the freedom to wear any hairstyle and bring any personal effects they desire. Kudo Ikusei is a paradise-like school, but the truth is that only the most superior of students receive favorable treatment. Ayanokoji Kiyotaka is a student of D-class, which is where the school dumps inferior students in order to ridicule them. For a normal person, it might seem that Kiyotaka was careless in his entrance examination, and was put in D-class. After meeting Horikita and Kushida, two other students in his class, Kiyotaka's situation begins to change. It might feel like it is just an average high school-based anime, but once you become aware of Ayanokoji's true personality and intentions, you will come to realize how interesting and exciting this anime can be. Number 1 Re Zero The series tells a story of Natsuki Subaru, a normal young man that lives his normal life in modern Japan. However one day he is summoned to another world, without knowing the person that summoned him, or the reason for being summoned in the new world. He soon befriends a silver-haired half-elf girl, Amelia. Due to some unknown circumstances, the girl is being targeted by an unknown assassin. The assassin manages to kill the two and everything seems to be over. Yet, a second later, Natsuki Subaru awakens and discovers his new ability that he names Return by Death. That new ability gives him the power to reverse time by dying, however, only he remembers the events of the previous timeline. Now at first this power of his might seems very handful, but the pain and sufferings that Subaru goes through is unbearable, and quite underrated, as he sees someone close to him die in front of him every single time, not even including the pain he goes through himself, as death is not painless, but he is still determined to save the people he loves, irrespective of the consequences. Thank you for sticking till the end, make sure to like share and subscribe the channel, if you found the video interesting and helpful.